Hi, my name is Michael Kaplan and I'm the Director of Global Business Development for the media entertainment industry for NVIDIA. A few days ago you started to understand the way we have reinvented computer graphics. We introduced our touring technology and announced the Quadro RTX graphics boards. We introduced three boards and a server. What touring brings to the market is brand new technology that we call RT cores that advances ray tracing. So we're able to do real-time ray tracing on the board now in a way that's never been able to be done before. In addition to the RT cores, we also bring tensor cores to this RTX platform. It came along from our Volta architecture, but the tensor cores can do things like artificial intelligence to also speed the pipeline. We announced that the ecosystem of rendering partners and our ISVs have also expanded. And we've shown some demos with friends at Autodesk, and we're demonstrating that in the booth today. When we start to bring the ISV render software uh, partners involved that take advantage of optics, or DXR, or Vulkan, we're accelerating the pipeline in a way that's never happened in the past. So, what we're seeing here is uh, our version of the Unreal Engine that's implemented with RTX. And what we're doing is doing a combination of traditional raster graphics with ray tracing. So what we're doing is we're sampling 20 points per pixel um, with ray tracing. And it's a combination of ambient occlusion, uh, reflections, and area shadows. Um, on top of that, with our denoising, we're able to achieve very photorealistic effects. Um, with this, we can go into our lighting environment and we can change the lights, we can open the doors. I go to our light studio and we can change the, the positions of our lights, see various highlights on the car. We've got this currently running on two of our new RTX 6000 graphics cards. Um, comparing this to what we showed at GTC, the reflections demo with the Stormtroopers, we were sampling four samples per pixel um, and that was across four GV100s. So this is now showing that we're doing 20 samples on a pair of cards. So I'm showing Arnold from Autodesk. Uh, it's a new beta of a GPU accelerated ray tracing renderer. Uh, it works on our RTX uh, quadro boards that we just announced. Uh, this one is the RTX 6000. And this is a production film renderer. This is what people use for making movies. Um, and this asset actually came from Cinesight. This was used in the uh, recent movie that just released, Infinity Wars. Um, if I zoom in on this, you'll see that um, the ray tracing, the rendering of Spider-Man is incredibly fast. And the reason it's so fast is that it's accelerated by the RT cores in our GPU. So it's using this RTX ray tracing technology that we just announced. And um, you can see that it, it renders almost instantly, and the revo result is very smooth. The reason it's so smooth is we're using what's called the Optics AI Denoiser. I can turn this off, and you can see that the, the image is a little bit grainy um, as it's rendering. So this is, this is the process of calculating those billions and billions of light rays to render this image, and you see this noise, and it's slowly filling in the noise as it goes, but if you're an artist and you want to work quickly and efficiently, you can turn on this AI denoiser and now you get a clean result much faster. And the reason you'd want this, for example, is if you're changing lights, if you're lighting on the scene and I want to make an adjustment, I can come and change, say, the color of the light. And now when I change that, I very quickly see the impact of that change. I don't have to wait. But what's important is this is a production renderer, meaning people use it for producing film assets. And um, that means the scenes are very complicated. They're very, they're very big, they're very heavy, they're very complex. So what you're seeing here behind me is a, a scientific visualization of a uh, study that's been done with wind vectors going through a city. We're actually uh, have done this computational analysis ahead of time and now I've got the data back that I want to be able to visualize and so we're using something called Paraview. So Paraview by Kitware is actually how we're going to visualize my study. So there's a lot that's going on here that may not be apparent in this demonstration. Uh, I'm running on the new Quadro RTX 6000 that was announced here at SIGGRAPH this week. The first thing you may notice is 
we've taken the wind vectors and you can see the lines that represent the wind flow through the city. It's also, you may notice that we're, we're moving across in a flyby fashion and this image is being uh, ray traced in real time. So all of this is real time happening on a single RTX 6000. Now, there's also something very interesting that we've included in our ray trace here is a product that we have called Optics from NVIDIA. Optics includes uh, an artificially intelligent denoiser as part of the SDK. And so we're actually using that AI denoiser to help us when we're ray tracing clean up the scene much faster in this, in this model. One other thing I might add is each of these wind vectors that you're seeing there are actually a light source that we put in the model itself. And as you see these get close to the buildings, you'll see the buildings start to illuminate due to those light sources. So in a nutshell, a single Quadro RTX 6000, I've got compute, I've got ray tracing with an AI denoiser, and I've got graphics all in the same scene here. We're going to look at all the capabilities of the RTX 6000. And this, um, this is actually a live action program. All of the geometry is being rendered in real time using the NVIDIA RTX 6000. You can see there's smoke, there's reflections, uh, a lot of simulation. The smoke is particles, so we're using the tensor cores. We're using the RT RTX cores to actually give all the reflections, all of the textures you see and it's very detailed. You can see the metallic textures, there's textures in the suit, and they're all being uh, ray traced, so we get right, even reflects off of the suit. You can see it's a rough texture, uh, the laser shine, so you see rough textures, but then glossy reflective materials. And just to show you that it's a real, actual running program, we can look at the geometry. So there's all the triangles that are being drawn, they're being lit, they're being applied, textures applied, all in real time by the RTX 6000. What you're looking at here is a rendering environment built on Unreal Engine. This is an unreleased version of Unreal Engine that leverages Microsoft's DXR API, their DirectX Ray Tracing API. And that allows access to our new Turing architecture. There are RT cores that accelerate geometry traversal for ray tracing, and also uh, tensor cores for artificial intelligence inference that allow denoising of images in real time so that we get this real time ray tracing. Ray tracing and denoising together to get real time ray tracing. You can see that if I turn off, this is RTX off, if you saw Jensen's keynote on Monday. RTX off shows what it would look like in Unreal's lit environment. I can turn RTX on and that gives us real time global illumination. I can do things like change the lighting conditions and you can see that the reflections on the floor and the lighting and shadows are all updated in real time. I'll walk over to this mirrored model over here. You can even see that the sun is reflected on the marble of the environment right there. And I can do things like change the color of the carpet and you see that as I change the color, the color of the carpet to blue, the color of the carpet in the model changes. If I change it to green, same thing. I can change lighting conditions back here. You can see all the shadows updating in the reflections. You can see that the skylight that's up there is reflected in various areas of the mirrored model. So that's real-time global illumination. <laughs>